Hey, it's how you I see Memphis, baby. Hey, we right here at White Haven Community Center, man. That's hey, right. hey, we coming out here, man. Hey, we everywhere, man. We in the hood. We where you don't want to be. Hey, cuss from the street, man. Hey, I got my brother right here. Officer Ron, baby. Hey, 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 you see us, man. We out here. What, what, what we got over Officer here, Menica. Hey, we got Officer Menica, Officer Ron, and your boy, Officer Daniel, man. Hey, we coming to you live. IUIC Memphis. Cut from the street. We're live here in Whitehaven. Where are we located, Miss Lipstick? We are in Whitehaven. We are located in Whitehaven. We located in Whitehaven. I have the young ladies by the name of Autumn, Miss Autumn, and Kennedy. <laughs> and Kennedy and Miss Lipstick. What's your real name? Kaylin. And Kaylin. All right. So tonight we're doing a basic interview about Black History Month. So, Miss Autumn, I want to know what does Black History Month mean to you? Black history month means power to the black people to me. It means power to the black people. I like that. You know what I mean? What about you? <laughs> black history month means that, uh, to me, that the celebration of that us being free now. Ah, the celebration of us being free. Now, what does black history mean to you, young lady? Black history month means to me that we are celebrating the people before us, before us that helped us be Free. All right, all right. So we got some young men here who we're going to ask some questions to, and these men are very knowledgeable. These men are very knowledgeable. What's your name? Cameron Boykins. Say that again. Cameron Boykins. Cameron Boykins. What's your name? Maya Cole. Who? Maya Cole. Maya Cole. Miles. Miles Cole. Okay, Miles. Um, <laughs> what does black history mean to you? Um, black history to me, to me, um, is about learning your black history, like Native Americans, that people go out of space and stuff, like people make stuff and dance a lot, like Native Americans, and some people be going out to space. She was, the, it was somebody that was the first one in space, and she made, she made a platform, and then, she danced. Okay, okay. He had a lot of info on that. What, what does Black History Month mean to you? Um, learning about black people bringing joy to the world. Okay, learning about black people bringing joy to the world. Okay. Hey, IUIC Memphis, I'm here today with Miss... Shamika. Miss Shamika. Hey, we right here at Whitehaven Community Center. Hey, we want to ask our people what they think about Black History Month. I have Miss Shamika here with me. Hey, so Miss Shamika, what do you feel about Black History? What's your opinion on Black History? I think it's a great time to learn about our people. Hey, you think it's a great time to learn about our people? It is. I mean, it's a lot of monumental people that we... Um, come together and celebrate for their um, work that they put in and the things that they did to um, acknowledge for this month and this month only. Another question, do you think black history is only celebrated in the U.S.? No. Where else do you think black, black history is celebrated? Maybe England, maybe France, maybe Paris. Could be. And what month do you think is celebrating? Do you think it's celebrating the same month or a different month? No, I think they talk about it all year long. Okay, well, actually, Black History is also celebrated in the U.S. It's in Canada. It's in the Netherlands, and they celebrate it in October. So they, yeah, they Hex celebrate. Books. Do y'all think slavery's in the Bible? Yes. Whoa, whoa! Oh, this is a unanimous yes here. Okay. So, who told y'all that? Well, my school, because I go to a Catholic school. So, your Catholic school said that there's slavery in the Bible. All right, what about you? Church. Church told you, okay. And you? Church. Church as well? All right, well, look, that's black history. Who went, who went into slavery? Our ancestors did, right? 
back in the 1600s, right? All right, well, look, I'm going to show you in the Bible. Hey, bro, give me Deuteronomy 28. See, y'all got my knees hurting. Ah! In 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. It says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So when we read this scripture right here, it talks about Egypt. Egypt means servitude. You know, like on the river, what they have? The, the pyramid, right? And where were the pyramids at in our history? They were in ancient Egypt, right? Okay, read. It says, in Egypt again with ships uh -huh. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. Because we know all people came from what continent? Africa. Africa. All right. Make sure nobody said Europe. Okay. All right. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bun men and bun women. So this is a future, pro this is a prophecy by the prophet Moses. He's saying that we were going to go into slavery for breaking God's laws, statutes, and commandments and be bond men and bond women, slave men and slave women. Okay. okay. So tell me, young man, do you think or have you ever heard black history read out of the Bible? Uh, no. No. What about you? No. What about you? Yes. You have. No, 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 you have. All right, so we got two out of two out of three. All right, so I'm I'm gonna I'm go ahead and give you a little information on some Black history that's in the Bible. You interested okay. in that? Yes. Okay. We're gonna bring a reader in right now. So look, you can tell your mother and your father that you heard this. Give me what you got. Revelations one. Revelations one. What? What color? What color is Christ? I think. What you got? Um, brown. Brown. What you think? Um, brown. Ooh, I think. Okay. Okay. What you think? Green. Green. All right. So we're gonna get the information right here. All right. <laughs> the Book of Revelation, chapter one like and verse goes. fourteen. Like his head and his hairs were white like wool. So, his head, the hair on his head. And the hairs on his face were white and woolly. Who got? Who has woolly hair? Who? Santa. Santa has woolly. Who on the face of the earth? What people has woolly hair? Hmm. Look! Look at my hair. Right here. Is that like wool? Touch it. Touch it. It's kind of wool, like a sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Like a black sheep. Yes, like right. a black sheep. That's right. That's right. Okay, so listen to the rest of this. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as, white as, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were red. red. And his feet like unto fine brass. Was brown like you said. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So he was a dark skinned man. Christ. And Mr. There's, Mika, because I know your time is valuable. You got to get to work. But one question. Do you think we can find black history in the Bible? Probably. I'm not sure. I think so. You think so? Yeah. So if I give you a scripture out of the Bible concerning our history, do you, would you believe it? I say, would you believe that our history is in the Bible, black history? Not really, it's been passed down. So Not really, it's been passed down. Okay, hey, let me get the, the scripture. You got you got it for me? We got it for you. Read this for you. It's black history out of the Holy Bible. King James, 1911. Read that for me. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black, but comely. I am what? Black, but comely. I am black and beautiful. That's what that term, that 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 sense of saying, "Hey, I'm black and beautiful. I'm black and I'm proud." That's where it came from. That came from out of the Bible. Even Martin Luther King said it in one of his speeches. Read on. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. So he's talking to the daughters of Jerusalem. This one of the kings of Israel. He's saying he's black, but see, they don't tell us that the people in this book look just like us. All right, all right. We're here with, what's your name? Karen. With Miss Karen. Okay, Miss Karen, we got a few questions for you here um, concerning Black History Month. Um, 
What does Black History Month mean to you? To me, Black History Month means um, just getting to know more about my heritage, our heritage, and celebrating um, all who fought to get us where we are today. Okay. Hey, we here at White Haven Community Center, man, with Brother Malcolm Riley. Hey, I got Brother Malcolm Riley with me, man. I'm here to ask him some, ask our people some questions concerning Black History. So, what's your insight and intake on Black History? What you think about Black History Month? Uh, I think it's it's a time for us to reflect on uh, the importance of Black people and, and the um, effects and, and the things that we built uh, brought to this country, and for us just to reflect and, and you know uplift the people that came before. Okay, correct. I'm here with a young lady by the name of Candace. Miss Candace. Okay, so here we are in February in Black History Month. Mm -hmm. So, what does Black History mean to you? Black history to me means it's it's my culture. It's what makes me me. It's my skin. It's my hair. It's the way I move. My rhythm. It's it's me. It's my community. It's it's my children. It's it's me. So you're saying that it's, it's black history is all about us. It's where we come to celebrate us, our achievements, achievements here in America. Is that what you would say? Yes, that's what I would say. Do you okay. think that you can find black history in the Bible? Of course. Uh, yeah, I think so. Do you know where exactly? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, I'm going to show you where. So that for now on, and maybe even at your school, you can enlighten the kids of this fact. Uh, Job 30 and 30 exactly is where you can find it, and a few more places. But I'm going to give you Job chapter 30 and verse 30. This is the, this is the book of Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. And my bones are burned with heat. What do you think about this scripture? Mm, my skin is black. Um, that's basically already telling us by him saying my skin is black. And my bones are burned with heat. Um, probably I would think that would be kind of talking about um, the struggle they've had to go through. All right, all right. Do you so, think Black History Month has anything to do with the Bible? Um, you know, I'm a firm believer that, you know, black people were in the Bible and Jesus was black, so. Correct, um, correct. I think, you know, most of the disciples were black or some form of error. Ah, you yeah, know, you, so got, you got a little knowledge on you, man. I like that. I don't <laughs> find, hey, we don't find too many of our people that know that their disciples were black, Christ was black, that this, the all the important people in this Bible where people with our genetic makeup, mm -hmm. you know. So hey, I'm going to get you a couple of scriptures so you won't just take it from me. Don't take nothing from man. Don't believe in man. Believe it out of the word of God. So we're going to get a, a quick scripture, Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. We're going to let you hear it. Okay. And you can read along with the brother to make sure that he's reading it correctly and make sure that we're not just telling you something, man. So read that. Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Chapter 1, verse 5. You mm -hmm. want me to read it? Yeah, you, read yeah it. You, you can read it, man. I am black, but commonly... Oh, so, so, hold on. So, Psalms of Sodom. This is the Psalms of Sodom. It's King Sodom. He was the king of Israel. What did he state? He said, I am black. So, Psalms of Sodom. It's safe to say that Sodom was a black man, right? That's what it says. Sodom was a black man. Did I? This is this is the Holy Bible, King James Version. Hey, you can look around in it, man. We're gonna go to another scripture. Okay. We're gonna get because Sodom, not only Sodom, but Christ was also from the tribe of Judah. You know, he was he was an Israelite. He's he was also a dark complexion man that looked like us. So this is. Read that for me. This is Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth. So Judah, the tribe of Judah. This is the tribe of Israel. You know, we got Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Christ came also from that tribe. Read on. Okay. And the gates thereof languish. Mm -hmm. They are black. They are who? Black. So the tribe of Judah is what color? 
black. So, um, I'm gonna ask you this. Um, do you think that black history should be segregated to only one month? No. You said that black history is us. Do you feel that it should be celebrated more than just one month? I do. And I also feel like it shouldn't be like um, like a fad. Mm -hmm. I feel like it should be celebrated all the time. We should be proud to be black 24-7, 365. Right. But Do you think that black history should only be segregated to one month of the year? Uh, no, sir. I do not believe that it should be segregated to just one month. Um, black history month, well, excuse me, black history itself is something that should be... Uh, preach year round if you ask me uh that's something that that's not done enough um just ironically we have it done the shortest month of the year with 28 days in it so who would you say is the greatest black man of all time i'm gonna start with you first mm, my, maybe martin luther king you're going with martin luther king okay what about you young lady barack obama the, now, this is the greatest of all time in history that ever walked the earth now. I, I, I think you got the answer that I'm looking for. Uh, I go with Carter G., the one who made Black History. She's going with Carter G. Woodson. Okay. Would Jesus Christ count as a black man? You didn't know Christ was black? You didn't know? I didn't know either at one time. Well, I kind of You kind of knew. <laughs> but, that, you know, you didn't want to use, you know, that was like the bonus answer, right? Well, Who is the the greatest black man that you've known to walk this earth? Period or this day and time? Period. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> you know what? You hit the nail on the head because that's exactly what I wanted to hear. I didn't know you was going to say it. <laughs> But I'm glad that you said it. So let me get this scripture real quick. Uh, give me Revelations chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. Now, this is just going to go into the image of Jesus Christ. A lot of people don't know it, but just because we out here, because you said it, I want to bring it out for you, Miss Candace. Read what you got. This is the book of Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So he had woolly hair just as you. I didn't got no hair. My stuff missing, but, you know, read on. Mm -hmm. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So he, Christ's eyes was a flame of fire. Why? Because he drank wine in moderation. He didn't get drunk, but he did in moderation. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So who has woolly hair? Sheep. A sheep. But what people on the earth have woolly hair? Negro people. Who? Negro. Negro people. Okay, let me hear your answer. Sheep. Sheep. <laughs> I said what people. She said sheep. You see that? You see that? What about you? Mm, well, probably whites. The whites have woolly hair? No. Look at this brother's hair. You see that? That brother got woolly hair like a sheep, right? Coarse, rough. You feel me? You know, all right. So we had, and then whose hair turns white? As we get older, what happens? Our, it turns gray. All right, read on. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank wine in moderation. Jesus' first miracle was what? Turning water into? Oh, church teaching y'all a little something, huh? <laughs> all right, go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. Okay, what color is brass? Grass. Brass. Brown? Brown. What color is brass, ma'am? <laughs> Don't get shy on me now. I guess brown. Brown? All right, what about you? I say brown as well. It is brown. brown uh, brass is a derivative of brown, so it's kind of like a penny in, in that kind of area, all right? All right, read. As if they burn in a furnace. So it says that his feet was like fine brass as if or the same way as if it burned in the furnace. So if you put anything in a hot furnace, what color does it turn? Mm, I don't really know. She's passing. Black. You say black? What about you? I say black. It turns black. If you put wood in the fireplace, it turns black, right? 
So just the same way as that happens, the brass will turn black as well. So the greatest man that we know that walked the earth that was a black man is who? Mm. <laughs> 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 Christ? Ding, 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 if you ding. throw anything in a furnace, what color does it turn? Black. It's going to turn It's gonna turn black, correct? Mm -hmm. So we know that our history is in the Bible, but why a lot of times in school that they tend to, to show us, you know, it started in 1600s? I don't know why they do that. I also don't know why they have this. This image that they sell of what he's supposed to look like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, I would tell you that the one of the bases and premises on why they do it is to confuse our people because in 1619, that's when we went into the uh, transatlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. All right? So they want to show us our doom versus our glory. All right? And as you just read that Christ is a black man, I'm going to show you somebody else that's a black man as well. Uh Solid, Songs of Solomon 1 and 5. King uh, Solomon was King David's son. Mm -hmm. All right? And he was our, he's our forefather. He was a king and very, very wise. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms of Solomon. The book of Psalms of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Mm -hmm. I am black. He said he's what? I am black, uh -huh. but comely. So he says, I am black, but comely. You know what that means? He said, I'm black and I look good. That's what he said. <laughs> you know, we the only people that talk like that. You know what I mean? I look, I'm, I'm dark and lovely, black and beautiful, black don't crack. Those are the things that we put out, you know, and it's all written in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to know that our history starts in that Bible. The people that wrote this Bible, who they wrote it to and who they wrote it for are black. And those are the Israelites. And you yeah. yourself are a princess from uh, our foremother, Sarah. All right, so you know that your blood is the same blood that runs just like Christ because Christ was from the tribe of Judah, mm -hmm. just as you and I are. Mm -hmm. All right, so with that, I'll say thank you, Miss Candace, for your time. Mm -hmm. And is there anything else you want to say out here in Whitehaven? I would say my melanin is popping. <laughs> Her melanin is popping, baby, and we out. Hey, IUIC Memphis, man. Hey, we just finished up with interviews concerning Black History Month. Mm. Hey, we went out to um, the community, to um, Whitehaven Community Centers, conducted in interviews with some of the youth, some of the adults, man, to get their intake on what um, Black History means to them, man. And one of the things that stood out to me was what the youth stated that um, the brother asked them, who is one of the most important men that walked the face of the earth? And one of the youth gave um, a statement concerning Martin Luther King being one of the um, one of the icons for 2018 for for being the black the um, most important black person to walk the face of the earth, right. and um, Barack Obama, man. So that let us know that you know we got a lot of work to do with edifying the youth, edifying um, our people as a nation as a whole, to give them the sense of this Bible, man. To let them know that the people in this book look like you. This book is. Is is it has your history and your heritage instilled in it, man? And, you know, all we have to do is follow what the words say do. You know, so you know that let me know. Hey, we got to go out here and we got to conduct more interviews. We got to get more insight from all people, man. And we got to enhance them in knowledge concerning the Bible. Right. You know, so those are some of the things that you know we can take from this experience with, with interviewing concerning Black History Month, man. What's your take on it, officer? Hey, I'd just like to say that, hey, it was a great and it was a success. Um, even like you said, the, conducting the interviews with the youth. Uh, for them to say Martin Luther King, Carter G. Woodson, and Barack Obama, which are great men in their own, in their own right. But to know that we used to rule this earth and to run this earth and run this world, that we were kings and princesses, man, on top of this earth. They really don't know how far we've fallen from our rulership. All right, man. Hey, you have anything to say, officer? Yeah, so this Black History Month episode was a success, and that's a cut. Shalom. 
This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.